Hello, it's Pat Sloan here, and I just want to show you how this clover needle threader works because a few people have said that they have trouble, and there are some things that you can do to make this work properly. So, it's trying to focus. So, I have the eye of the needle is on this end, sharp end on the other, and I'm going to put the eye into the hole right where the little sticker says needle slot. Now, if your needles curve, then you need to be sure this is standing up straight. You can't have too big of an eye and you can't do super teeny weeny eyes either. Then I have a 50 weight thread and I'm taking this in the slot. So it's just got resting. Like I have done this 8 million times. I've used these for about 25 years. I have about five of them. Uh, so they're everywhere. So I just pull that so it's snug. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to hold on to it, but you could. I'm going to gently push and you can just see that there's a little lever that pushed the thread through the eye and now I release it and I will come and gently lift the needle out and it's threaded. If you yank the needle up you will unthread it. You can see that it's not a lot through the eye, it's just a small piece. So. If your thread is too thick, it won't go through that eye. If your eye is too big or too small, this is a regular sewing needle like you would do binding or hand applique. It's not a teeny weeny tiny needle. So this is Pat Sloan. This is how I use the Clover needle threader. I love it.